In this demonstration, I'll be showing you how to create a simple button sound. I've got a finished file here. I'm just going to run a test movie right now. And basically, when you click down, you'll get a sound. So I mouse over. And as soon as I click down, it plays back the sound. And I'll go as quick as I can click it. So let's go back and take a look and see how we created that. I've got a button symbol on the stage here. And you can see it's just sitting in a single frame. So let's go inside of that and let's take a look at the setup here. So I've got two layers going on, one for the graphic and one for the sound. And in first up state, you'll notice they're all keyframed here. I'm basically changing the color of the fill. So it's green in its normal up state. Mouse over, it's just a slightly lighter, more teal green. And then in the down state, I've got it going to a yellow. Now you'll notice also the audio waveform showing itself with the orange line here in the second layer. That's where I have the sound playing. And that's also keyframed on the down state. And if I highlight it like I did here, I can see in my properties that it is playing back the sound beep small and it is set to event, which is what you should set them to when you're creating a button. So let's quickly create a brand new one from scratch here. I'll just go with the standard size here. I am in action script, but it's not really relevant for this lesson. So we'll just start with the oval tool and I'll go and I'll start, I'll do the same colors basically. Green fill, black stroke, stroke was set to four before I started this. So I'm just gonna hold my shift key down when I drag this out and create a perfect circle. And then highlight that by double clicking it and we will convert that to a symbol. And I'll call it button. And we'll just make sure the type is button. Click OK. And you'll see the blue marquee telling you that it's a symbol. So if I want to get inside of it, which I do, I have to double click it on the stage. And then we'll see its timeline down here. And again, I'll remind you, this is nested inside of scene one. This is the hierarchy here. So we are on the default up frame. And I, what I want to do is I want to change the colors again on the over and the down state. So I'm just going to keyframe that over here, highlight that frame, and I'm going to use the shortcut F6 to keyframe that, and then select that fill and apply a new color. So I think I just went down to slightly more bluish version of the green. And I will do the same thing for the down state. Again, select the frame. Hit F6 to create the keyframe, select the fill on the stage, and apply the new color. And over here, we'll just go with the bright yellow. So now we have the three color stages. So now I'm going to import some sounds for this, and you can download these off the website. Import, and we'll just put those in the library. Import the library. And I'm going to select them all so I have some choices. They're all very small, as you can see here. And I just shift clicked across them all to select them all at once and click open. And let's go take a look in our library. And you can see the different audio files. You can actually play them back here. There's a little black play button up in the corner. So let's go to uh, our timeline and add a new layer. You technically don't have to do this. You could have put it on the one layer, but I do find this is a little cleaner when you're looking at it and authoring. So what I propose to do here is on the new layer, I'll actually name it, call it sound, and create a keyframe in the down state. That's where I want the sound to play, only in the down state. In other words, when they click the button. So we'll hit F6 on the, key, on the keyboard to create the keyframe. And again, you select the frame, under properties, go down to sound, and I'll use the beep sound here. And just make sure sync is set to event. I should have done this sooner, but I'm going to do it now and save my file. And we'll just call this button sounds.fla and save it. Yeah, that was my bad. I should have been saving all along. Regardless, uh, it's saved now and it's good to go. And let's just do a test movie to try this out.
So I mouse over, it changes color when I click. There is my button sound. So that's the simple lowdown on how to create a button sound. The main takeaway there, I guess, is that it's a short sound, so it's set to event. If I select here, you'll see that in the properties. And you want to keyframe the frame that you want the sound to appear on. I would not say, I would say really, if never, put it in the upstate because it will just be playing the whole time until somebody mouses over it. <laughs> so you're going to get it playing constantly until you mouse over it. Uh, maybe that can work in a game, who knows. But typically that's not usual. Uh, normally it is in the downstate, so to give a response to the mouse click. Okay, so that's how you make a button sound, and I'd like you to try that today.